Good morning, this is Angela and this is David. Morning. And we're Wiley's Travel Adventures and today we're up at Stranra. Now Stranra is situated on the A75. Uh, you can go to lots of places from Stranra. You can go up to Air and Girvin on the A77 and you can go down to Dumfries and Gretna on the A75. Uh, we're up here today because the video didn't work we did last week so we've come up again and I must admit it's a lot better day it's nice and sunny up here so we're sitting on Stranra Harbour at the moment uh, we're just sitting in the car but we're going to get out shortly and take you around the town and around the around the harbour and things just so you can see what Stranra has to offer. We quite like Stranra, don't we, David? We do that. Uh, it's got playgrounds for kiddies. It's got a swimming pool. It's got a few shops. It's And it's the second largest town in Dumfries and Galloway. Uh, so we'll just go out now and take you along the harbour a bit. And we'll have a look at the Agnew Park, which is... Got a nice little pond on and there's a few swans on there and there's a playground as well and they have a little restaurant in there where it always seems really busy, doesn't it, when we yeah, come up? Like yeah, so we'll get out now and take you along so you can see what Stranra's all about. Also, about the ferries, they used to run from Stranra, uh, Stena Line, but it moved to Ken Ryan in 11 years ago. Uh, P&O was operating from Ken Ryan already, uh, which is a shame from Stranra, but I think they'll probably redevelop the harbour area at some point, because some bits are a bit overgrown and things and derelict looking, but there is a harbour with a few boats on still. The ferries that go across to Ireland uh, Pino goes to Larne and Stenaline goes to Belfast. Uh, it takes about two hours uh, to cross. Um, and obviously the A75 is extremely busy with lorries, as we know, because we have a static at Auckland Larry. And you can hear the A75 quite loud from where we are, uh, with lots of wagons going up and down the road. Lots of cars, especially in the summer, for the cars coming over from Ireland or going over to Ireland. And it has, it has a railway line as well here. Uh, so it's quite good for transport. And there's a castle as well, but it's not open at the moment. Obviously, it's never been open since COVID times. But you never know, it might, it might open next year. Yeah, so there's quite lots to see and do, so we'll get going now and we'll catch you later. So this is the pier at Stranra. As you can see, we're at the marina. It's quite a lot of boats. seats on here so you can sit out yeah you probably can't see it in the distance but there's a ferry going across to Ireland this is Stranra Beach it's not the best looking beach in the world Very calm, isn't it, David? Uh, yes, uh, Loch, this is Loch Ryan. <laughs> we'll just walk to the end of the pier for you. Yes, last week when we came up it was pouring down. So, and obviously my video didn't save. 
Well, better day than day. So oh yeah, geez, isn't it? Beautiful day today. Some boats and dry dock there. Oh, beautiful day. So we're just at the end of the pier now. As you can see, I see it's a lovely day. Just about, if I zoom in, just about to see the, the ferry on the horizon. So there, what, over there is Ken Ryan. This is the, some of the redundant Piers, where when the Stena line used to take off from here. Can't believe how calm the water is. I'm hoping to see a seal, but I don't think I will. <laughs> I can just see birds diving into the water. You can imagine they'll have seals around here. Yeah, you can just see the ferry in the distance again. Showing you some of the Ra. It's lovely. What a lovely day. Now we're going to go to Agnew Park and we'll have a look around there. So we're coming into Agnew Park. As you can see there's a little railway line there. I think that's another pre-Covid thing. This Covid business has had a lot to answer for. So this is just straight ahead is the we cafe or restaurant and on this side there's a children's playground mm. and there's a pond as I said before so we'll have a look at the pond we came last year and the Swan family had about seven or eight babies and they're all growing up fast now. This is the restaurant and cafe, it's always got people in it. Open 11 till 4 every day except for Wednesday. Hmm? Oh, the driftwood. The driftwood, that's what it's called. <clears throat> Little bridge across. Swans are all over on the other side, so we might have to walk around. Palm trees in the middle there. Haven today with all the, the bird life, isn't it? Yeah. 
here we are. There's the swans. How lovely are they? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's at least ten babies. I know that said about seven, but I think there's about ten. And look at them. Aren't they lovely? Growing up fast now. What a lovely little park this is. Especially on a nice day like today. Oh. I wonder what the fine teeth on this little pond then. Vegetation and things, do you think? Palm trees in the middle there. Here's another one coming over. There's either mummy or daddy. Another one of the youngsters. Hello. Hello. Lots of people out and about today going for walks and things. Lovely wee creatures. bridge over the water as well under that little island where there's a sand pit for the children there's David looking at the, the swans Lots of places to stay in Stranra, all the way along this this row here. There's guest houses and hotels. And there's a, a rather large hotel which looks like a castle. And it's got its own curling rink. Because Stranra is also famous for its curling, where a lot of the champions have come from. Stranra. Going back a bit further in time, it was a haven for like U boat operation and seaplanes in the Second World War. I bet they were quite spectacular to see landing on the loch. Yeah, so there's. You would. They say it's a dying town, but it's just a shame the operations have moved over to Ken Ryan for the Stenner Line. But I'm sure they'll still get a lot of business in the summer with the hotels, with people going over to Ireland and stopping the night, or come stopping the night on the way back, that sort of thing. And that building there in front sort of like a little tourist information bit don't know whether it's open or not and we'll take you up to the town centre and show you the the castle but yeah we quite like Stranra we were gonna get a static here or not far around the lock for Ryan Park and it was it's a residential park and also a holiday park and yeah but it, we thought it was too far to come just for a couple of nights so we decided on Ock and Larry instead but yeah that's like a little shop yeah 
don't know whether it's open or not. Like the lights are on, yeah. Right. We'll have a look in there later, maybe. Yeah, so we're heading into the town centre now, so we'll see you later. So this building ahead is the Museum of Stranra, Stranra Museum, it's shut. It's quite a nice looking building, but you can tell it's all run down. Uh, we're coming into the town centre. And this over here used to be a, the George Hotel. It was erected in 1876. And as you can see, it's just a ruin now. But I wear it, but it was nice in its day. There's a picture of all the maids on the on the front there. So this is the wee turrety castle. Uh, I'm not sure if it's open today. It wasn't open last week when we came. But we'll have a wander around and see what it says. It's Christmas tree is up. It wasn't up there last week. That looks quite nice. That's another view from a different angle. So yeah, I don't know whether that's the main door, whether it's got a different entrance. We'll have a wander and see. Oh look, all the bulbs are coming up already. Huh. Look at them. It says it's open from Tuesday to Saturday. Typical and it's Monday today. Hmm? <laughs> we'll have to come on a Tuesday morning before we go back down the road and and uh, have a look inside. It's a medieval tower house and a Victorian prison it was.